Today's podcast is brought to you by our friends at Banzoogle. Built for musicians, by musicians. Banzoogle powers the websites for tens of thousands of artists around the world. Their simple step-by-step system will get you online in minutes. Choose from dozens of mobile-friendly templates, then customize your design in just a few clicks. Built for musicians, by musicians. Banzoogle has all the features you need for your website and EPK already built in, including tools to sell music and merch commission-free, commission-free crowdfunding and fan subscription features, mailing list tools to grow your fan list and send professional newsletters, integrations to pull in content from your online services, including YouTube, Twitter, and SoundCloud, and live support from their musician-friendly team seven days a week. Go to Banzoogle.com to try it for free for 30 days. And be sure to use the promo code DRUMMERGIRL. That's all one word. To get 15% off for the first year of any subscription. Turn up the volume nice and loud. Because we we are controlling transmission with dance beats and R&B. You're in the mix with Lil Drummer Girl. With your host, Dawn Marie. In mix. In the mix. Welcome, my drumsters, to another episode of The Little Drummer Girl. I'm your host, Dawn Marie Mutel, and I'm so excited that you're here with me today because there's something that's been on my mind, and I wanted to share it with you because, you know, there's so much going on in the world right now, and it's a lot of fear based stuff, I think, because we fear the unknown, right? But my question to you is, do you live your life in overdrive? I remember when I was in high school and it was yearbook time, right? And I had to put something there in my yearbook. And I loved Def Leppard at the time, really, really big. And there was a quote I put from their song, it's better to burn out than fade away. And I put it in my book. And I think my parents and my friends, they all thought like, is she talking about drugs? What the heck? You know, I had to laugh because it had nothing to do with drugs. It was about living your life to the fullest. And that's always been my belief. Live your life as if it's your last day. Have the most fun that you can. Try not to stress out over all of the crap that we deal with every day, because at the end of the day, it's not going to get us anywhere. It's just going to make us ill, stressed, depressed, anxious, you name it, all the negative feelings, right? But think about how you can put your life in gear. If you found that maybe these last few months, you're not as productive as you once were, or maybe you're feeling a little disoriented because of everything that's going on, and I get it because it's makes a lot of sense, right? Because this whole thing is just really horrible. This COVID is horrible. So that's why I created the Tampa Jam It's Time to Pivot Online Virtual Summit. It's a three-day summit that's going to help you deal with some ways that you can get your business up online, whether you want to do live streaming with your shows, or you want to create your own podcast, or maybe you want to build a membership site and start making money by giving your audience and creating another stream of income for you while you're waiting to maybe start touring again or to just maybe you're doing more presentations or talks live and things like that and they're not happening right now, right? I got some of the best of the best experts and I'm so excited that they're going to be here. I have Tom McNeil from Patreon. I have Dave Cool. Yes, that's his real name from Banzoogle telling you how you can quickly build a beautiful website that you can do so much with. I have Chris Kermitzos from the PodFest Expo, and he's going to share how you can quickly get up a podcast. I have an amazing group of people. So please go to www.thetampajam.com and you'll get all the information there. You'll see all the speakers. Just go to the speaker page once you're on the page, but sign up for your free ticket now, okay? Because there's a limited number of seats. And I want to make sure that my drumsters so that you can come and join us because you're going to get a lot of information on how to really get your business online. And if you're not doing these things, maybe you're only doing some of them, maybe you're doing none of them. And they're going to show you how you can do it quickly, 
and inexpensively because that's my jam. I've got to do everything on a budget because I've always had to find ways to find, you know, the best prices on everything I do. And that's from food shopping to dining out to traveling or whatever I do, I have to make sure I find the best for the least amount of money. And that's why I created the Life's Necessities and Luxuries podcast, because I want to help people not only with just fashion, but living a healthy and happy life on a beer and pretzels budget. You know, I'm a fan of luxury. I grew up around luxury from working in a very luxurious health club that my mom and my brother and then I worked at and my cousins worked at, my sister worked at. I mean, it was a family thing. We were all working there. But everybody that came in, they were celebrities. They were sports people. They just had a ton of money. And I would look at them and say, you know, I'd like to have that too. Now, I don't want to digress because I want to get back to living your life in overdrive, but that kind of has something to do with it because I found that if you take those little things that happen every day and then you just put a little bit of a twist on it to make it a little bit more luxurious, then I feel like you're living your life in overdrive, right? Because you're you're giving it the, the full throttle. Now, I love cars. I used to have two DeLoreans and I miss them so much, but they were a fun car. They weren't the fastest cars, but it was a cool car. And, you know, now that I'm in Florida, I would love to have that car here because the weather is perfect and in New York City. You know, I had to put them in garages and it cost me a lot of money. And so at the end of the day, it really wasn't worth it for me back then. So if I ever make the money again, I definitely will try to get another one. But anyway, and they were showing Back to the Future this weekend, which I thought was kind of cool because that was another reason why I really love that car because, you know, there's not many movies that are made after a car, except for the one with the Steve McQueen there with the GT. But anyway, let's move on. So living your life in overdrive, okay? So maybe it just means even just your meals that you eat, right? So let's just say you cook something, step it up a little bit, right? And just like maybe you add some fresh herbs chopped up in it, right? And so now it's just all of a sudden it's that special meal. It's not just whatever you were preparing, Now you have something really delicious and enticing and it looks good and it looks beautiful and you know it's going to be healthy for you. And that's what I mean by living your life in overdrive because you know what? When you're working, 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 right? There's so much going on. You're so busy. The the first thing we want to do is have something that's easy and quick, right? Because we don't have time to waste. But if you just take an extra five minutes, you can kick it into overdrive, right? So... Think about things. They got to have faith. Now, I don't know, whatever your religion may be, it doesn't really matter. But we have to have a faith to know that we're doing the things we're supposed to be doing and that we're on the right path. And if not, that's okay too, because maybe it just means that you had to go this way to go that way, right? So maybe you have to course correct and you make some changes. And that's fine because that's life. We don't always get put on the path that we're supposed to. I mean, it took me years to figure out what it was I wanted to do. With everything going on, I just want you to think about how you can find a few ways in your week, every week, starting now, that's going to put your life in overdrive. You know, shift the gears. You know, I remember learning manual uh how to drive a stick. And it was like frightening as all hell to me because I just kept thinking, what if I can't get the gear in? What if I'm like stalling out? What if I just stall out, you know? And it's happened. When I was learning, it did happen. But you know, thankfully in New York City, they didn't run me over and I was able to figure it out. But we all have to start somewhere. You know, you got to start in first gear and then move it up into second and then into third and then into overdrive. So if you're feeling uninspired, Maybe you need to go listen to someone talk on your favorite subject or find motivational speakers. Now, I've been listening to motivational speakers since I read my first book on Think and Grow Rich back in like 1988. And from that point forward, I got so like, it like just turned the light on for me. And I want that to be for you because, you know, once you get the, it's like, you know, you put the pilot light on and the heater and then all of a sudden, boom, you have heat going through the house or on the stove. It's that same feeling. I want you to just reignite that feeling that whatever it is that may be in the lower gear right now to move it up 
and start to figure out what it is that you need to do next. And I know you need to join up at the Tampa Jam virtual summit because you're going to get some aha moments and some ideas on where you can go next. So please go to www.thetampajam.com and sign up today, get your free ticket. It runs for three days. They're not full days, but you're going to get an amazing amount of information from these amazing speakers. So please don't miss out because you'll only kick yourself in the head. I am not doing replays. You can buy a VIP all access pass with an early bird special for $47. That price will go up to $97. And I can't wait to see you there. Well, that's all I'm going to leave you with today. All right. I want you to have an amazing week. I want you to kick it off, write down some new goals, get inspired, get motivated, and get your life in overdrive. All right. Remember, it's never too late to live the life of your dreams and leave a trailblazing behind you. So rock on and rock out, and I'll catch you on the flip side. 